want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you Kentucky Fried Fun and welcome if you are new. Today I am going to be setting up our little dog's station and making some Ray Dunn dishes to hold his food and treats and adding in some lemon decor. So stay tuned if you'd like to see how I do that. Don't leave me here forever. Don't let me be alone. On my channel you'll find cleaning and declutter motivation as well as decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content, I'd absolutely love it if you would subscribe. And then once you've clicked that red subscribe button, be sure to also click the little bell right next to it so that you don't miss out on any more of my content. This is part of a challenge that is being hosted by Second Hand Tracy Ann, and it is the Ray Dunn lemon themed hunt that she had us go on. And you'll see that I didn't actually purchase any Ray Dunn, I just kind of DIY'd it. And so I absolutely loved how it turned out. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I am excited to show y'all how everything turned out. I will be sure to leave a link to Tracy's channel as well as the playlist and everyone else's Ray Dunn Lemon Hunts up in the cards at the end of this video and down in the description box so that you can go check that out after you have finished watching my video. For my Ray Dunn jars, DIY jars, I had these three and the first one you'll see that the green lid was broken just over use of time and it was actually my grandmother's but I found this one and the smaller one at a thrift store for three dollars and actually it was half off day so I only paid a dollar fifty for both of these Tupperware containers I thought that was a great price they were exactly like the one I had and so I was just going to fill up my original one that has that little slot there and then I'll throw away the green lid and replace it with the blue lid for my dog's food. I stuck with this one also because I had a little command hook there that I can just hang the little scoop that I use. And then for the smaller one, I was just going to stick his greenies, his little teeth treats inside of that one. And I wrote on both of them one, the first one says wolf as you can see, and the second one says bark and I thought those were appropriate. And I looked up like Ray Dunn and all that and so I absolutely love how they turned out. And then here I am just putting in this green basket that I wrote You Are My Sunshine on. I found that recently at Goodwill. And then right next to it I'm hanging up this little, or putting up this picture and just trying to figure out where I want everything. And you all know just rearranging until you get it how you want it. And I'll be setting up the canisters on top. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. And here's how the top turned out with my DIY Ray Dunn dog canisters. And then right next to it is just this little sign I found once at Goodwill that says all you need is love dot 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 and a dog. And I think it kind of has that Ray Dunn lettering effect. 
And then here is my willow tree angel holding the little dog and my original Ray Dung dog canister that my brother-in-law gave me for Christmas. And then here's just a picture of our little dog, a couple of them in frames that I found at Goodwill. Once I had rearranged everything there on that top shelf, I went to work on my DIY wreath that I made. And here I am just using the frame part of like a picture frame. I think I got it at Dollar Tree. And then I'm just using these yellow flowers that you actually, if you watched my mother's tribute the other day that went up on Friday, you would have seen these yellow flowers in the background. And I am just using the leaves and then the flowers to make a wreath. And then I have this little tiny lemon that I got in a pack of like pumpkins and things back in the fall. And I'm just going to attach this on here as well. I do wish I had a couple of more to be able to add them, but I still like how it all turned out. Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight A lonely wind is passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk We only needed two things for this challenge in the first one was the Ray Dunn jars which I DIY'd and the second was some lemons and these are real lemons and I'm just putting them in this little basket that I had then realizing that I wouldn't be able to see them from the top I dumped it out found out that it was a little dirty, wiped it out, and then I am just using these two really pretty towels that my friend sent me in the mail to put one in the bottom just to add some little bit of filler and the other one on the top and I think it made it look super cute and the green ties in really well with the basket that I already have on the little pull out tray there where I will be setting this. And just to give y'all a reminder of what it looked like at the beginning, it wasn't bad, but I obviously needed to add my other dog canisters and just do a little bit more work to it. And I am absolutely loving how it turned out. I've been wanting to do this for a little while now, and I just love this little area that I've created for our little dog. enjoyed watching this if, if you like Ray Dunn if you like the lemon decor theme that is so in right now give my video a big thumbs up if you are new to my channel and like what you saw I am going to be participating in next week's lemon themed coffee bar challenge so be sure you are subscribed and have your little bell clicked so that you don't miss out on that one and thank you so much to Tracy for doing this challenge because I've been wanting to do these Ray Dunn jars for quite a while and it gave me that motivation to get it done and I liked popping in a little bit of yellow and the decor in my home and so I hope y'all have a blessed day and I will see y'all later.